Hello and welcome. My name is Casey and you are tuned into Super Mega Baseball, the fall winter season. We're playing 162 games in this season and today the Moose play three of those games against the Sandcats. We're going to jump right into it. Bottom of the third inning. The Moose have their starter, Sancha Silvio, on the mound. She's been good so far this year. Not phenomenal, but her last start was quality. Five innings, only two runs. As a runner squeaks on here and the dangerous Marsha Brown comes on. And she drives a high pitch up deep and gone into the seats over that high right field fence. And Marsha Brown with a 403 foot shot gives the Sandcats a 2-0 lead. Top of the fourth and the Moose look to retaliate. Rip Dinger steps to the plate and he's got the pop to do it, but he's been struggling with contact. Although he gets a hold of this one. This one is gone off the bat. See you later, ball. Rip Dingers. 444 feet. Love that symmetry. Into the second deck and he gets one back for the Moose. Marsha Brown in again in the bottom of the fifth, and she rips one into center field, a clean single. She is going to be a problem in this series. She's followed by Hercules Bentley, although she takes off and swipes second easily, and the Moose just give up bags freely, so why not? Perry Quaker with a nice dive to stop Bentley's ball going down the line, but that moves Marsha over to third, and then a chip shot into center field. It's dropped by Tremendo. Brown would have scored on the tag up anyway, but now there's still one away and the Sandcats lead 3-1. to one. Runner goes for second and takes that bag as well. Moose have yet to throw out a base runner this year. They really need to find a stronger arm back there. Asilio walks Super Sampson, so now there's two runners on, one away. And this one is sent up the middle. Chris dives. No time to get the runner at two, but he goes to one and gets the out there. So two away, two on in scoring position. But this gets up the middle. The speedy Sampson turns around third, and he's going to score easily. Sandcats have three this inning, and Silvio gets the strikeout on Karakawa Gucci to end the inning. But the damage is done. After five, Sandcats lead the Moose five to one. Top of six, and Rip Dinger steps in. He's been the lone source of production for the Moose in this game. And he looks to do it again. This one is high and deep and it's off the top of the wall. He turns around first looking for a double and he gets absolutely hosed. Moose are struggling to put any offense together, but they're in a jam in the top of the seventh. It's bases loaded and Chip Duffers comes in, but he's up against Charlie Best, who's going to try and work them out of it. And he starts with a line drive to rip dingers for the second out. And now it's Kara Kawaguchi, two away with a chance to put this game out of reach. She works it to 3-1 and fouls it away. So it's a full count. The bases are going to be moving on this. And it's another foul ball. The 3-2 into Kawaguchi and she swings under it. Charlie Best gets the strikeout and keeps this game where it is. It's true. Nobody chucks like Chuck Best. After seven, the score is five to one for the Sandcats. Bottom eight and Carla Tolbert faces Marsha Brown and she's not content with the 4-1 lead. She smokes this one to straightaway center field for a solo shot and the Sandcats go up six to one. Top of the ninth, two away. Nacho Chris steps in as the last hope against Gasser Morris, but he pops it up. Shallow right field. The second baseman settles under it, and that will end the ball game. Moose lose 6-1. to one. Tough game for the Moose. They just couldn't get anything going on offense and really struggled to shut down Marsha Brown. Four hits in the game for her. But we have another game in this set. Game two of three starts right now. Raul Strikes is on the mound for the Moose in this one. He's been hot and cold for them. Had a really rough outing his last time. Seven runs in just two innings. So he hopes to improve there. Bottom of the third and he's been good so far. Knocks Ox and Sox and takes this into the gap. A dive from Tremendo in deep right center to save extra bases on that play. Sandcats are right back at it in the next inning. Bottom of the fourth just foul. Gets a hold of one and this one is high and into the seats in left field for a solo home run just foul 
gives the Sandcats a 1-0 lead on a 395-foot shot. Top of six, and Irene Fast steps in, and she says, hey, I can do that too. She sends a high ball deep down the line, left center off the foul pole for a home run. Irene Fast. 381 feet, a perfect line down left field, and it's a tie ball game. Bottom half of the inning, though, Marsha Brown steps in. She's been quiet this game, but she does not stay quiet for long. She drives this hard into left center, gets by Tremendo to the wall, and Brown is in there with a stand-up dummel. She's followed by Hercules Bentley. He taps this up the middle, and Brown has speed. She rounds third. Tremendo with the throw home, and she's out at the plate. Great throw from Tremendo. Solid defense from him all around this game, and he keeps it tied. After six, it's one-to-one. -one. Bottom of the ninth, and the Sandcats are looking to walk it off. Hercules Bentley rips this down the first base side, but Lionel Martinez dives and stops it. A ground ball over to Bobbitt for an easy out number two. And so it's Chip Duffers coming in with two away, looking to end this ball game. But he chases a fastball on the outside edge, and we're going into extra innings. Bottom of the 10th, we're still tied, and Carla Tolbert deals to Rodney Park, who rips it to crisp it short. He dives, but it gets through and dribbles into center field. Park's on with a single to lead off the inning. The next ball is sent into right field and off the wall. Park rounds. He goes first to third. And so there's two runners on, and the winning run is on third base with none away. Klaus, the game comes in as the last hope to shut this down. It's a line drive into center. Tremendo slides and makes the catch. Another game-saving play from Jose Tremendo. That turns it over to the top of the order in Dolph Stake. And the runners go. He tries to drop a bunt, but it's picked up by the catcher. And the runner is hung up on the third base path. He's tagged out for the second out. So two away. The base runner was eliminated, and the ball gets away, but the base runners stay put. Good recovery from the catcher. That brings it full with two away in the bottom of the 10th, and he gets just fouled a swing under a 101-mile-an-hour fastball to get them out of the inning. Top of the order for the top of the 11th, and the Moose need to get something going against Gasser Morris, but he is lights out. Irene Fast lines out to center. Jackson ground ball to first. And Martinez pops it up to the shortstop. So we're going into the bottom of the 11th. And the game has to face Marsha Brown. She chases an outside fastball. And it's on the ground to crisp. So a dangerous hitter taken care of there. But another one to the plate in Hercules Bentley. He's locked in. And he hits this one high and deep. It's so high. Does it have the distance? Yes, it does. Home run for Hercules Bentley. And the Sandcats walk off the moose in the bottom of the 11th on the 408-foot home run. Moose lose 2-1. to one. An absolute heartbreaker for the moose there. They held their own in this game the whole way through. Excellent outing from Raul Strikes coming back after his rough one last time out. And Irene Fast with a solo shot down the left field line. They're in these games, though. Let's see if they can avoid the sweep in Game 3. Rhiannon Cannon on the mound for the Moose in this game, and she has not been the ace you want her to be. She comes into this game with an ERA in and around 5, um, which is not terrible, but just not what you want from your top starter. Top of the second, and Rip Dingers is in against Kerwin Arches. He takes this one deep to center field, but a leap from Super Samson robs him of the home run. Solid defense as Arches gets a strikeout on Crisp and walks Bobbitt. Arches can be nasty when he works that slider and sinker back against each other, but Jose Tremendo takes him deep to center. Same spot as Dingers, but this one gets over into the bushes in left-right center. Jose Tremendo! 392 feet to give the Moose a 2-0 lead. Bottom half of the second, the Sandcats look to strike back. Gia Axelson sends one deep to right center gap. Tremendo can't get there. And so this is bounces off the wall, and Axelson has a double. 
following that, Rodney Park hits one to the other gap in left center, and this goes against the wall. So the two switch places, and the Sandcats get a run back. Bottom of the third and two away, and Perry Quaker says, I like that two-run lead. Let's get that back. Perry Quaker with a 390 foot home run just over the wall in right center. His 11th on the year, and the ball there puts the Moose up 3 to 1. Top of four, and Nacho Crispin, and he gets in on the action. He hits this high and deep to left center field, and it's in the seats. Nacho Crispin. 383 feet, his sixth home run, and the Moose lead 4-1. to one. Bottom four and Cannon deals to Marsha Brown, who sends this on the ground up the middle for a leadoff single. Bentley's in next, but he sees a pitch on the outside edge he can't touch, and he goes down for the first out. With Super Samson up, Brown swipes second freely, and then Samson sends this one into left center, but Swiner is able to get there for the second out. Axelson in, she scored the lone run for the Sandcats, and she takes this one to the wall. It's off the top of the high wall in right, and Brown is going to come in to score. It's 4-2. to two. Top of the fifth, and one away, Hieronymus Jackson steps in against Arches, and he takes this one high and deep. Does it have the distance? It does. Samson jumps but can't make the grab. It's into the bushes on the right side. And Hieronymus Jackson joins the home run parade with a 385-foot shot. Moose lead 5-2. to two. Bottom half of the same inning knocks Ox and Sox and gets a one-out single. And then Cannon misses to Dolph Stake. So it's two on with one away for Jess Fowle who drives this into the gap in left center. Tremendo gets there and gets the throw in quickly. But one run will score as the Sandcats keep themselves in this game. Into the bottom of the eighth, it's Carla Tolbert in to face Jess Fowl. But she lets the leadoff hitter get on base, so it's Marsha Brown. The runner goes, but Brown grounds over to Dingers. Only time to get the runner at first. So it's a runner on second for Bentley. And Bentley gets walked, so it's first and second for Carla Tolbert. One away. This one's to Crisp, and he knocks it down. He gets the runner at second, but not at time at first. That'll bring up Gia Axelson, who has been a problem all night. The runner on first steals second handily. So Axelson has an opportunity to tie this game or maybe even give them a lead. And Axelson comes through again for the Sandcats. Full count. She sends it into center field. The throw is not in time. This game is tied at five. Tolbert walks Rodney Park. And so that'll bring in Klaus the game. They're going to ask him to get four outs in this one. But he doesn't get it here. This ball is sent into right center. And the runners are rounding. And one will score it six to five Sandcats. Oxen Soxen keeps the two out rally alive with a ground ball into right field. Another run will score. And so it's five to seven. And Tig Tantrum takes this one high and deep. And it is gone. A three run shot. And the Sandcats have exploded in this inning. All of a sudden, it is 10 to five for the Sandcats. Bottom of the ninth, and the Moose need a two-out rally of their own, but Jackson sends this on the ground to the shortstop to end the ball game. Moose lose 10-5. to That loss stings for the Moose. A seven-run bottom of the eighth from the Sandcats, just absolutely unreal. All of those seven runs coming with two outs, and the Moose gets swept for the first time in this series. Tough games for the Moose in this set, but thank you so much for watching. My name is Casey, and we will see you next time when the Moose take on the Palatapai.